is a revival happening? Actually, for starters, maybe I should ask this. <laughs> Do you have the faith to believe that a revival could happen? Is such a thing even possible? Here's why I'm asking. There are reports, like right now, currently, there are reports of a Christian revival uh, happening on the campus of Asbury University. This is in uh, Wilmore, Kentucky. I've read uh, several, uh, actually a bunch of first-hand reports from people who've been there. They're on the campus, they've seen what's happening, and uh, here, I'll, I'll quote a few of them to you. This is from a man named Matt. He's on the faculty of Asbury Theological Seminary, and he says this, quote, God is on the move in a special way at Asbury, uh, beginning during their chapel service at Asbury University, God began pouring out his love among the students in a profound way. The students continued praying and worshiping, even though the chapel service had concluded. Um, a few minutes ago when I left at 10.30 p.m., there were still hundreds of people there worshiping, being prayed for, repenting, and beginning to follow Jesus. End of quote. Here's another one. This is from uh, Daryl. He's a pastor. Uh, he posted this on Facebook. He was at the auditorium where this revival is happening and he said he stepped out for a moment uh, here's what he, here's how he puts it quote i stepped out to get something to eat at the cafeteria i did not know where it was and i found myself walking completely around the outside of the chapel it was very windy and i realized as i walked on all the sides of the building that the wind was always blowing in, blowing in towards the building, north, south, east, west, no matter what side I was on, the wind blew in the direction of the building. It reminded me of the mighty wind that blew in Acts 2 when the Holy Spirit was poured out on believers. It moved me deeply. I had been there for five hours, but it felt like one. End of quote. Here's, uh, this is from someone named Adrian, posting on Facebook, quote, a truly supernatural phenomenon that has been accompanying this Holy Spirit revival at Asbury University is the presence of a cloud. It's as if the Holy Spirit has laid a blanket over the area. Olivia told me this morning that they've been praying Exodus 40, verse 34, that reads, then the cloud covered the tent of the meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the the tabernacle. She writes, keep moving, Holy Spirit, spread across this nation, Lord. End of quote. Again, that's from Adrian. I've read a bunch of these. Can I, can I give you just two more? Uh, just, just two. Quote, Asbury is now on day three, nonstop, 24 hour of a chapel service of prayer, testimonies, praying, worship. It should have ended a couple of days ago. There are already reports of revival breaking out at other locations in the area and beyond. Those of you praying for revival, get ready. End of quote. That's from a fellow named Josh. Uh, and then here's one more. Quote now. Quote, this is from a, a, a group called the Recovery Church. Quote, God is moving at Asbury. Currently they are on day three. No plan of stopping. It is now spreading to other universities. Buses are coming. Never planned. All spontaneous. Holy Spirit driven. End of quote. You know, um, you probably know this, but, but many people in the United States would say that they are Christian. In fact, uh, it's still a majority. I, I, I heard some statistics recently. Still a majority of people in the U.S. who identify as Christian. So, here's my question. <laughs> what would happen if a like a really large percentage of these people they already we all identify already as christian what would happen if we had a, an authentic life-changing eternity altering holy spirit directed encounter with the lord jesus what would that do Here, here's another question along the same lines what if a again a large percentage of these people who we, we already say were followers of Jesus, what if we would begin living, thinking, interacting with others, praying, and, and truly behaving 
as followers of Jesus because of a genuine work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. I believe that would be very significant. I really do. The effect of something like that would be profound. So, I'm praying that this revival at Asbury University, I'm praying that this is just kind of the start of something bigger. I'm praying that this revival will spread. Apparently it already is spreading. I, I hope it's going to spread far and wide. I'm praying that this is the beginning of a, uh, a really powerful work of God throughout our whole land. And believe me, even, <laughs> even as I say that, I know how unlikely that would be. I know. I've lived here for a long time. I know that would be unlikely, but I also know this. I know that with God, all things are possible. So I'm asking, will you join me in praying for a revival? Would you be willing to do that? Lord, I pray that we would repent, that we would confess our sins, that we would turn to you, that we would seek a closer and closer walk with you. Holy Spirit, come, fill us, move in our nation. We pray in Jesus' name, amen.